to meditate is to learn how to think. And one of the first steps in learning how to think is learning how not to think. In other words, you have to be able to choose which thoughts you're going to ride with and which ones you're not. So one of the first steps is to learn how to just stay with one thing. And anything else that comes up, you say, that's not relevant, that doesn't apply to me right now. If starts, if, you know, even if the word me starts getting in the way, you say, you just drop that. And this is just awareness and breath, awareness and breath. Any thought that's not expressed in those terms is out of the question right now. Now do you stay with the breath? You study that. Try to take an interest in the breath, and that gets you more involved in it and puts those other things further away. And then when you get used to not getting involved in thoughts, again, then you can start picking up a few. And say, when I start thinking this and my mind gets worked up, okay, why am I thinking it? Why is it getting worked up? What are the issues? In what way am I fooling myself around this thought? Because every thought is a little bit of make-believe, and you're buying into somebody's make-believe each time you engage with a thought. Now, sometimes that's useful make-believe. Other times it's totally useless. Now, it's totally useless, and it's not really all that true. Why get involved? But first give yourself a place where you can stay. And remind yourself, at this moment, nothing else but breath and awareness issues. Those are the only things that you're concerned about. Any thought that reminds you of who you are, or where you're from, or where you're going, and just put those aside. Just be with the awareness and the breath, the awareness and the breath together. That way you'll, you'll be able to fend off unskillful thoughts. When the time does come to think, you'll have to be very careful to pick your way through all the minefields of thoughts, because one thought will lead to another one, then to another one, and you find yourself someplace you didn't expect. So you have to be very careful when you start picking up a train of thought where this train is going. If you see it's going someplace you don't want to go, just hop off the train. Because when you have a place like the breath, you can hop off the train and not hurt yourself. You've got a good place to land. So work on developing this area where thoughts, uh, apart from breath and awareness, just don't matter at all. You find yourself lifting yourself above your ordinary concerns. As the Buddha said, it's like going into the wilderness. When you're in the wilderness, you start thinking about issues back home, and they suddenly seem very small and very far away. The same way when you bring the mind to the breath, make sure that everything else seems very small and very far away. So when you do have to deal with things, these things, you have the proper perspective. The issues that consume the mind ordinarily don't really have to consume it. When you're not consumed by them, then you can get outside them and deal with them a lot more effectively. That way you become in charge of your thinking, and the thinking isn't in charge of you. And that's when it's really useful. <laughs>